horrible news, buddy. We are locked in prison. I know. I know. We gotta lay down. You know what? I'll sit beside you while I tell the viewers the story of how we ended up here, Humpy. By the way, Humpy is my new pet. He's a camel. Basically, this is Squid Island. Josh Slogo is the current president of Squid Island. The problem with that is that I had leased a little bit of my land out to Josh and I wrote down my name on a legal contract with Josh for the land. I kind of broke that contract and since he's now the president, he decided that he could send me and my pet camel Humpy to prison. <laughs> Which is terrible, because I uh, literally can't get out. Oh yeah, and he also took all of my items, so that's another reason why I can't get out. But if you're like Craner, just dig a hole in the wall when you got a pickaxe. No, that's not allowed. If I do that, they'll just send me back in prison the next time. So I've got to follow the rules in this book exactly to the T, because the next time that the other two, Jelly and Jaws, get on the server, they're going to judge how I did and decide if I deserve to be let out of prison. So, uh, we gotta follow the rules, unfortunately, guys. Welcome to your prison sentence at Barco Prison. Gosh, dang it. The goal of this program is to provide you with the skills within your punishment to rejoin Squid Island as a better person. Okay, relax, Josh. I, I don't think I've been a bad person. Okay, maybe I did burn down quite a bit of Squid Island, but hey, let's not talk about that. This guide is sponsored by Barco. Okay, I get it. Barco is everywhere. I get it. Everything is sponsored by Barco. To complete your sentence, you must achieve certain goals while only using the resources provided on the Sky Land block. Block. Oh, that's what this is. It's a sky block on land. Genius. You may not break any blocks shown on the board to the right, and you may not leave. Blocks that you cannot break also doors. Oh, these blocks. Okay, I was like, um, maybe you should write them down. But no, it's these blocks. Okay, so I can't break that, 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 or that, or that. Got it. You may build anywhere inside. Goals. Build a cobblestone generator. Okay, I guess this is where I should take the book and then have it on my goal thing. Because once that is done, I will be released when the president is next online. Okay, you're welcome to complete any other personal goals you may have within the rules of the prison. I don't have any personal goals in here. What are you talking about? I just want to get out, dude. Number one goal, build a cobblestone generator. Oh, okay. Well, he gave me a lava bucket and ice. So if this is to be treated like normal skyblock, I guess let's destroy everything we see on here. We got uh, a little bit of wheat. That's always good. And we got a tree that we can now mine. Boom, buddy. Okay, well, we have now officially got oak logs. I guess it would be really good if this actually dropped something for us. That would be amazing, like a sapling. Yeah, you go lay down again, Humpy. He loves laying down. I don't know what it is with him. He's kind of lazy, though. <laughs> But I love him. Oh, crap. You see, this is the bottom of the sky block land that we have. So he also made sure I couldn't just dig out from underneath. Josh is a smart guy, isn't he? He kind of knew what my mind was going to be thinking, didn't he? He knew that I was going to be trying to be a little slimy slimer and try to get out from underneath. Well, he figured us out, guys. I'm just going to get as much dirt as I can. Uh, because I kind of think maybe that's good to do. So there's absolutely zero stone anywhere on this island. I guess that's why you need a cobblestone generator. I'm just thinking, right? He gave me an ice block. And I mean, usually I would melt that with like a torch. So how am I going to go about doing it when I don't have a torch? Does ice melt if you just kind of like put it... Um, Wait, can I build outside of it? <laughs> you may build anywhere inside. Okay, so I can, for example, like build something here. So I think the lava has to go here. And then the water has to like run into the lava. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Um, oh, Dang it. But how am I going to get the ice to melt though, dude? I could probably use the lava, but I don't think it's close enough. Okay, maybe if I pick up the lava... Put it underneath the ice block really quickly. How did that not melt, dude? How are you still here, ice block? Oh, you can just break it. That, uh, honestly, very embarrassing. That was in it, that was extremely embarrassing. I am very sorry that any of you had to vi witness me with that uh, amount of melting of my brain. 
But at this point, I feel like, you know what? It can't go wrong, right? Let's just do it. Boom. Cobblestone generator. It might be a little bit wonky, but it's it, it's gonna work, dude. Get ourselves a crafting table. Get a little bit of a pickaxe going. Now, the good thing about, and I forgot to mention this, I guess, is that we actually already got a sapling again. So I'll put like some dirt along here. And look at this. We have officially got a working cobblestone generator. So far, so good. Like I said, it's a little bit wonky, but I've never really been good at making those, okay? Hey, look at Humpy. He's still laying down. Now, I can take that and I can make ourselves a little bit of a better stone X. That's probably gonna help us out, dude. And we've done the first one, right? Number two is build a farm. So I gotta build a farm, but I've only got one water block here. Can I make it run out multiple ways? I guess I can. Then we'll just like have to capture the water in a way and use it to make a farm really i mean the good thing is joss didn't put any perimeters as to how lazy i can be so i'm gonna be as lazy as humanly possible and build kind of like the worst farm ever but hey it's a farm and that's all he wanted right so i'm not breaking any rules i'm just not doing the most but i can pretty much just take this and like go out like that now i just need to make a hoe and would you look at that craters completed another objective because we officially have a wheat farm y'all it's a cobblestone generator and a wheat farm yeah i feel 200 iq right now but i'm really not this is like the dumbest way to do it ever <laughs> But hey, I'm doing it. So that means one and two is done. Now I just need to make a house. Okay. In order to make a pretty decent house, I feel like we're going to need those trees over there to grow. And I'm going to need a lot more cobblestone than what I've got. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit and farm as much cobblestone as humanly possible. Anyway, the farm has grown a little bit, as you can see. The trees have also grown, so I guess now's as good a time as any to actually go ahead and make an X for ourselves. We can also get a little bit of bread. I mean, I gotta keep myself alive while I'm struggling here in prison, dude. I really wish I, w I had more dirt, because then I could have made, like, way cooler farms and stuff, but I gotta follow the president's order, and I'm not gonna break any rules, because guess what? I want to be let out next episode. Being in prison, not that flippin' exciting, dude, okay? I don't care what they show you on television. It sucks. All I've done all day is mine, plant stuff, and look at Humpy. The last one is good, but the other two have sucked. Okay, that should be all the wood that we could get out of that. So let me just get some more logs. I guess one thing we can make as well is actually a furnace. Now, the reason why I want a furnace is I want to cook a bunch of this stuff so that we get some extra points for actually making things out of like stuff that he probably didn't expect us to have so i think cooking the cobblestone will probably give us extra points in the president's uh, do good book you know what i'm saying and we gotta try to get in that book dude because i want to get out of here i guess i'll take some more dirt around this and use it to my advantage so we can actually plant more trees all right well that's gonna keep on growing and i'm gonna keep on mining every time i remove my cobblestone in front of me i just see humpy doing something new <laughs> you can see what he's doing for like a split second before he disappears oh he's coming back there he is this is basically my television while we're in prison right now guys okay this is how i get my entertainment also i think a bunch of the cobblestone went over here okay good all right well i've got 53 cobblestone that is quite a lot in my opinion now if we take some of this stone and turn it into stone bricks i think that's what i want to make the house out of because one thing that josh really likes is iron blocks and stone bricks so we got to try to get on his good side, right? Let's build out of the stuff that he loves. I guess I'll like make the house like here. This seems like a pretty good area to have a house. I'll put one corner here, one here, then one over here and here. I'm not going to make the biggest house. And, you know, I don't think Josh expects me to make like a giant house because I am just like locked to what I've got. 
But if we try to make it pretty, I think he'll appreciate the effort that he can see we're putting in, right? Let's just make a little door, put it right there. That's going to be the entrance. I don't have a way of making windows because we don't have access to sand. But what I can make... I guess we can make fence or something like that. And that'll kind of like be our windows. That's kind of what I'm thinking at least. Time to eat my only bread, by the way. Dude, being in prison sucks. I want to eat more stuff than just bread. I know I've got an apple, but that that's not really like the coolest thing in the world to eat either, okay? And now we've basically got the foundation of what will be our prison home. I just got to keep on grinding, pretty much. All our trees have grown again, and I think it might be time to actually uh, get a little bit of food again from the farm. But first, let's get as much wood as we can. And I'm going to try not to turn it into planks this time, because I think we need the logs more. I think those will be more impressive than the planks. Like, if I start using logs to build, that looks like I'm pretty rich, right? Humpy is laying down again. You know what? You do you, buddy. I would lay down too if I didn't have to do all this work for us to get out. But it's no problem. You just sit on your butt, dude. He got up. Oh, I really... I did I did mean it, Humpy. You can just stay there. Oh, look at him. He's coming towards me now. Humpy is the best pet ever, dude. I don't care what anybody says. All right, that's all the tree done. Now we got to go up to our farm and get all of this and then replant. Guess what? We can get like two more bread out of this. That'll keep us afloat for a little bit. Now we take our stone, go like that, and we've got even more brick now. Okay, we just got to put this up now here. Here and here and here and here and here. Now, what do I make the kind of like the roof out of? Or like the... Mm, I'm not really sure yet. Actually, maybe smooth stone? I know I just wasted a bunch of stone, but that was before I had the idea of using smooth stone. Dang it, dude. Can I turn this back somehow? <laughs> it's not the biggest issue. I've got a lot of stuff cooking, but I mean, how will it look if I take like a stone slab and put it like... I think that looks pretty decent, in my opinion. I, I kind of like it. Yep, my decision has been made. I will need smooth stone for the roof. Now, in order to make it feel even more like a home, I think it's worth putting some stuff in here like that and a furnace and a chest. I mean, that's just what any good Minecraft house has, right? We can even put stuff in the chest. That way, if they check out like in detail what I've been doing, they'll be like, dang, Craner, you even put stuff in a chest, dude? And I'll be like, heck yeah, guys. Craner's prison crib ah that looks better doesn't it yep and it is done we've now built ourselves a little prison crib now for the last part <sighs> we have to build a statue of the president which is josh how the heck do i build a statue when all i've got is wood and stone josh how do you reckon that anybody goes about doing that I guess we'll have to like do our best and I guess I already kind of have like an idea of how I want to do it but I'm just saying very dumb task to give somebody locked up in a prison with like zero tools or anything. First of all, I'm going to need planks. I'm going to put the statue like back here, I think. So what I'm thinking, right, is that we put like one of these down and one of these down. Now this is going to be the feet. The legs are going to be uh well <laughs> They're gonna be fence and I'm not saying that he's got like zero legs like I'm sure he doesn't skip leg day But come on what else what else am I supposed to build him with? Okay, so I'm doing the body now and I guess it needs to be a little bit tall because Josh is actually a pretty tall guy I mean, we're almost equally tall in real life, but he's a, he's a little bit taller. I'll give him that. Okay, I think that's good enough for the body Now he needs a neck of course, which I guess we can make out of fence again. You know what? I gotta say <laughs> That looks exactly like Josh, dude. Yeah, I would say we've done everything that he wanted us to do. But let's double check the rule book. Okay, one, build a cobblestone generator. That has been done here. Number two, build a farm. That's also done. Number three, build a house. That's also done. Number four, build a statue of our president. That is also done. So I guess all we gotta do now is literally just sit here and wait until the president gets online again. And then he will decide if me and Paul Humpy will be able to get out of here or not. 
I think I deserve to get let out. I did everything perfectly. The statue, mwah, dude. Wish me luck, guys. It's all gonna be up to the president now.